Hey everyone and welcome back to the channel. And welcome to the updated video regarding the V1 rocket mod. In this latest update, the V1 rocket now flies at between three and 4,000 feet, which is much more realistic. Now then, what I've also incorporated into this new mod is an STM file for the locations of all of these V1 launch sites. Don't get me wrong, it's not all of the V1 launch sites in Normandy, but it's quite a substantial number of them. And basically that can be found within the mod folder under V1 launch sites Normandy map static templates. And if you go in there, you'll see that there's an STM file which can be copied and pasted into your saved games S static template folder. And once it's done, when you launch DCS, you will be able to go to edit, load static template, and there it is, Normandy map V1 sites March 2025. All you do is press load and it will then load all of these sites for you. Now basically it's, it's, it utilizes all the mod versions of the uh, launch site uh, and not the actual asset pack version. If you want to change it, you can do just simply by going in, highlighting the unit, going to number two, which is the launchable mod, World War II mod, V1 launchable, and you just simply change it to World War II asset pack V1 launchable. It's as simple as that. You can then save the template as you wish. What I've also done in this update is incorporate a launch cone for the actual model itself. Now the maximum range of the V1 rocket was around about 240 kilometers, which is around about 150 miles. But because I've made the major changes to the coding to be able to get the V1 to fly at altitude, I had to work a balance between getting to altitude and the speed of the V1 to get it to distance. So the actual coding the missile travels a little bit faster than it should do. It's about 150 miles an hour faster than it should. Uh, but there's no way around that, so you might not be able to catch it in flight. I don't know, I've not tried. But the launch distance is around about 220 kilometers, because that's the maximum I could get it to, getting that fine balance. Because you've got to bear in mind that the code I was working with, those missiles, we're travelling in excess of Mach 1. So I've not done too bad a job to get it down to where it is now. So when you want to provide a launch or set up a launch, we'll go to the advanced waypoints. We'll go to add, perform task, fire at point. Then you move the fire at point up to where you want it to hit. Now then. The closer to its maximum range, the better. Otherwise, if it's exceedingly short of its maximum range, let's just say I wanted to fire at Deanland. What will happen is, because of the coding limitations that I've encountered, what will happen is the missile will launch itself to that fire at point, and then it will circle until it runs out of fuel and drops. So the longer the distance, the better chance that that won't happen. So I would suggest moving it to almost its maximum. And that way you'll get a straight in drop. If you want a shorter attack point, then use one of the sites that is further away. And then pick out. What you also need to do is with the fire at point, you have it the weapon on auto, rounds expend. If you only want it to launch one missile at that particular location, select one. If you leave it blank, the lorry that is parked next to the launch site 
will reload the ramp automatically and it will continue to fire unless you set it to rounds expended. In the previous version of the mod I was made aware that there was a clash of sound files for ground units and in particular the um, Bradley. So that's been changed and I'll show you that now. So just to let you know, I will also be updating the Chain Home mod script so that the V1s can actually be detected. It can then give you a range, altitude and bearing to the V1 so that you can try at least to intercept it. Like I say, it might be a little bit too fast, but at least you're given the option. So I'll update both mods together. And there we go. As per real life during World War II, Chain Home has detected the V1 missile and giving you a bearing range and altitude and approximate heading. <laughs>